Oh, 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 Right, you get some scriptures. We had two places. What you say? You say Are you going to school right now? Right now. I work down. I work at the gym. Work at the stadium? Do you like doing this? If I was working in one of the stadiums downtown, this shit was kind of fun. Yeah, I used to work out. I, I, I was cleaning the stadium after they left the game. Yeah. And I was finding all kinds of stuff. I used to do that too. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the big stadium. So yeah, what's up? 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 Uh, uh, shit, we got kitchen food. Garments right here. What's the scripture? Let me get yeah. that food. I got it. I got it right here. I got yeah, it. Food. It's all the scriptures, man. It's just like the ancient days when the prophets went out, they had garments on. Just like our Lord, who they called Jesus Christ. You know, that's, you know that's not his name, right? What? Jesus. What is his name? Jesus is Greek. That's Greek. All right, See, the name? Lord is Hebrew. See, the Lord's name is Yahweh Shah. That's ancient Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? It's ancient Hebrew. Now, when all these motherfuckers out here praying, they're praying to Jesus, and he's not even listening to him because he don't hear his name. But he hears elect out here crying for his name. That's why you see chaos and, you know, a bunch of confusion going on now in the world. Because he's beginning to visit the world, like the scripture said, he's beginning to visit the world that he made. He's beginning to now. That's why you see people dying strangely. That's why you see people losing their jobs. That's why you see division in families. You know what uh, I mean? You, uh, you see everybody was just voted for Obama, right? Yeah. Because yeah, you know yeah. say Ohio was the deciding yeah, vote yeah, in the yeah. election, right? And what happened right after the election? You know, they announced that they're going to cut everybody's family. Everybody that got food stamps in Ohio, er, uh, they're getting cut $50 per family. Well, that's going to make a huge difference. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them bitches like losing their $50. Oh, that's why you got that food money. That's that drink money. money. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know you sell them. That's something like 22, though. Oh, yeah. Like, well, you don't want to give your baby something like anyway. That's got all kind of toxins and stuff, all kind of poisons, and that's poison. It's got fluoride in it. It's really that 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 Simlac, That's designed to give your baby brain damage. It's like that's why they put fluoride in the water. You know what I'm saying? You ever drink water out of the sink? You check this out. Uh, you know Harvard University. Harvard University is like one of the most prestigious universities. Harvard's more prestigious than Ohio State. And they just came out with a study that said fluoridated water causes brain damage. And fluoridated toothpaste causes brain damage. That's why everybody's so stupid. And, and it decays your teeth faster. Yeah, and it decays your teeth. It's just you know, but they push that shit. You know, but that's the devil, you know, which devil means to see. Oh, you know, that's why he's... He, 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 uh, he run a, basically the whole world, all the government. A lot, of, a lot of different things, a lot of different aspects of You know, he has the power to put stuff in that water. But as God's picking, you know, I guess. Yeah, the that don't phase us, right? You know, the Germans used to do that. They got that from the Germans. Okay, God, you know, this butter, that's pretty much what milk is what we give you now. Oh, uh, yeah, that I got scripture this. with the uh, roll with the, the yeah, yeah, Here's yeah. the uh, scripture for the garment. Because uh, this is it's one of the laws, all right? Ungodly yeah. ass women. <laughs> uh, <laughs> This is in Numbers, the 15th chapter. This is Numbers uh, 15 and 20, 37. Numbers 15 and 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make, a, make them fringes in the border of their garments. That's the little stringy thing. It's like the North American Indians. They used to have the little strings on their garments. That's because they're Israelites. Uh, bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. That's why we saying you got the, the blue border. That's why this got a blue border at the end. You're supposed to have blue borders in the fringe. Uh, and it shall be unto you for a fringe that you shall look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them and that ye shall not Excuse me, excuse me, and that ye seek not after your own heart 
and your own eyes after which ye use to go a whoring. Okay, now you know these cheap, these, these churches push that you ain't get, you don't have to follow the laws no more. Right. You, you know gotta, they push. You say by the grace, you by the grace. Right, you know but you're still supposed to practice a, a righteous act. And we is saved by the grace because we're all guilty of breaking them. Right, oh, okay. so. Something you should have even think about. Just stop eating pork. I, I, I stopped eating pork before I even got it. Right, before we was even the truth. Some of us was in the spirit already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't stand the smell of it. Like if I smell strong cooking, right. now this dude that was living with us, he was cooking bacon. I, I was ready to fight him. So I'd, I'd be sleeping while I'm sleeping. I smell some pork. I get up like, what? What's you that smell? Like yeah, man, I just want to, I smell pork. I want to kill, man. It's like, the, it's one of the foulest smells on the planet Earth. That's right. Next, you know, next to that stinking Check this out right here. I got a scripture, bro. This is Romans 6 and 15. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 14. For sin shall not have no dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. Yeah, we're under grace because the Lord, because if we wasn't, if the Lord didn't have any grace or any mercy, we would all have to be put to death. Because the law said, you know, the law says you commit adultery, that you got to get put to death. That's everybody. Yeah, because everybody's, because uh, a woman's only supposed to be with one man. So if you've been slept with a woman that's already had sex with more than one man before you got to it, that, you're committing adultery, and that's punishable by death. So we all got to have that grace. You know what I'm 15. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? But under grace, God forbid. Yeah, so God forbid we're not supposed to sin. Now what's a sin? You know the Bible got it. Let's get that from the definition of sin. I can get it. Sin? I get it. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Yeah, you see the Bible got a definition yeah, of everything. I right. I mean I know what it's I know what it's about. I know what it is, I just want the Bible. Right. Yeah, so that's the best way to get your answer by letting somebody read the book for you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, my Bible. But when you ask a normal person what sin is, they'll give you a, a, a foolish answer. They'll tell you something totally foolish because they don't know. You yeah. know, they don't know that adultery is a sin. They don't know there's a dietary law you're supposed to follow that you, if you don't follow, you're sinning. You know what I'm saying? Because these, these churches try to make up new sins. They right. try to say, oh, it's a sin to drink. I mean, that's that's madness. <laughs> They'll say it's a sin to say fuck or shit. That's not, that's, that's retarded, you know what I mean? But check, this is a sin. 1 John 3 and 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. What's the law? The law that Moses gave to the Israelites. Okay. Yeah, like the ten, when Moses gave, he gave the them ten, there's more than ten though. That, that's the ten main, that's the, the main ones. But then you got the dietary laws comes out to like what 613 yeah it comes it's out right. to like 613 which most are common sense there's laws that says you can't have sex with animals right common sense uh there's laws that say you can't have sex with your mother your brother now you know bestiality is on the rise you know it's actually a common thing now it's not something that's uncommon yeah it's like let me be honest with you it, it be honest with you i've been probably, to the probably, well, probably one of them was suck a horse's dick or a dog's dick probably all of them had their dogs lick them you know right i mean come on yeah, you see it. It's all over there. They all got dogs and they push laws to protect dogs. You know what I mean? You see their cars. The guy, I love my dog on the sticker. They got tattoos of their dogs on their arms. So a lot of these people are fucking their dogs. That, yeah, that, why they doing that? They're pedophiles too. That's what they were doing in Sodom and Gomorrah. This right here, this is a part of the Bible that was taken out of the Bible. You know, this is part of the Bible, the apartment. Right, this is taken out of the Bible uh, with uh, the 1700s. Yeah, well, it's different people took it out at different times. Right. Uh, it really, it only, really only got taken out in America. Like but in the other parts that. of the world, they still have it. So, um, Native Americans, Israelites? Yeah. Like, right. what was their tribe though? Yeah, uh, yeah. mostly they had a tribe of Gad. And then the exactly. further south you go, you got other tribes. <laughs> yeah. Plus you got other tribes that live down in South America, you know? Because the, the Israelites, man, are all, all over the place. You North know? America, and Oh yeah, yeah, let me read a little more because there's a bit more to meat to it. It said, whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is a transgression of the law. 
For this is first John what three and five. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Mm. So that's talking about the Lord. That's the right, house right, 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 Okay. Right. That's why he's the only one that can forgive your sins. Because you know, you can't go pray to the most high. You know that, right? You know without, if you because you know the most high right, there's a there's an order. Right, right, order. Right, right. The most high ain't doing it. He ain't looking he, he can't look upon sin. He ain't hearing us. Right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go through the sun. Yeah. He only he can't he can't look or hear him upon the sin or something like that. Yeah. So you gotta go through Jesus, which gave you the grace to come yeah. to sin. Because it's like the Lord set it up like that because he's the only one that knows of the Father. Because he said, if you see me and you know me, you know the Father. You know what I'm saying? That's right, that's right. Uh, I got a scripture, bro. This is a Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endureth forever. So the law endures forever. You're always supposed to keep the law, because the law is righteous. As best as you can. Yep. All, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it, Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Yeah, because the law is light. When you start breaking that law, that's why, that's why you see all these fat bitches out here, because they eat pork. I mean, you look, I'm for real, man. You gotta, gotta keep it real. Man, I can get on, you ever mess with Tag, the internet site? Or the um, little sites, or even, like, uh, where you get on like these- Urban chat. Or any, you get on any site where you mess with females on the internet, especially here in Columbus or in America. There's so many fat bitches on there, man. It's like it's fat bitch, fat bitch, fat bitch. It's like thousands of them. Uh, yeah, it, it's not like that in other countries either, you know? Right. Right. They are all eating pork. All of them. That's why they so fat. <laughs> they're so important. It, it's an abomination to eat it. Itself, the meat itself, uh, you know, a pig itself, it, it, uh, it seeks pus all its life out of the school. You know what pus is? Pus is an infection. It's, it's poison, okay? Plus, you can burn the meat itself to a crisp. Put it under a microscope, there's still parasites that yeah. fall around it. Nasty. So the Lord said, don't eat pork for a reason. You know, and just then, like lobster. And your, your body can't even digest it either. That pork just lays up in your colon. Do you know, you know, do you know how uh, Elvis Presley died? You know who Elvis Presley is, right? The king of rock. They say he died from a drug overdose, but it really came out he died because he ate the his colon was clogged up. And they said he had a bunch of shit clogged up in him. They said uh, like a uh, four foot long of shit clogged up inside of him from eating too much pork. So that pork killed him. That's, that, that's a mad, your body can't handle that pork. It's not designed to digest. Hey, that's how he's supposed to be. Just like the prophets in the past, man, they cause riots. The prophets were put to death for teaching his word the proper way. But now we in the we in that we in the last days now. The, the scripture says we will no more be back into a court. So I shit gonna happen to us now. Man, we've been out here long enough. Man, they've been pulling cops on us, helicopters flying around. Man, shit, and we were still out here throwing the scriptures out there. You got, yeah, you got locked up. He went to jail. Like yeah. yeah. You got locked up. Some rat Jew was out here provoking us, poking us. Some rat Jew. Oh yeah, we some pasty bastard. He got mad because he. Wow. You heard they just uh they going at it over there. You watch the videos. What videos? Oh they, yeah, where they blew up the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they about to get it. They're down, bro. That's all hey, leading to World War Three. My, my man, he told me like, cause he's under the church, under the church all the time. He told me he was like, man, you you need to understand how many uh, prophets and different people wish that they could live through the time that we're living through right now to be able to see all of these things from the past that they wrote about. But you know, know the old like, prophets from back in the day? They're here. Uh -huh. They're here right now. They're already back. Who's back? The prophets of prophets. Old. What you mean, like? Any like for example, people, for like example, like uh, the yeah. individual Samson. He's walking the earth right now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's that reincarnation. <laughs> Tell him, bro. Because the scriptures say. The prophets. The matter of fact, I ain't even going front to you, dude. Like maybe like three days ago, just told me he was Jesus Christ. Oh, he said yeah, that he's he fucked out. Off. He's going off. Oh yeah, he he's know he's fucked out. He said like, you should have smacked like, him. Like, he was like, how you Jesus? Like, how you Jesus? Like, 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 bro, he was like, man, I'm the Jesus of this generation, bro. Yeah, he should have been smacked. Man, he was. He probably had a bad off or something. He took. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're out here to cut people like that. 
That's why we're out here. We're wild. Yeah. 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 Like, I'm going to go to Jerusalem, sit on my truck, and I'm going to give out gifts and get married to my wife. He's like, bro, we your wife. Yeah, he spoke he said Jennifer Lopez. Like, oh, 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 man. Yeah. Jennifer who wants some, Lopez, who wants some wore out pussy from Jennifer Lopez? Yeah, that bitch is the biggest hoe in the face of the she planet. She fucked herself to the top. That bitch done fucked all kind of people. Yeah, she, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, that's so what she said. Jesus is Nazareth. Jehovah is my father. I was like, Jesus. He go somewhere with that, bro. Ain't nobody trying to hear that right now. No, it <laughs> broke his fucking <laughs> job. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, that bitch, yeah we, that's some funny shit, man. The biggest hoe, like she's she's a symbol of purity or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was you looking for? Yeah, man. 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 You may have feel, you may have dishes of deja vu, but that's as that's as good as it gets. Yeah, if you hit, get hit with that deja vu, everybody get hit with it. I get hit with deja vu. I got a dream. Or you have sometimes you have a dream that you was living in the past. You might have a vision that you was back living in Israel. Like so y'all believe in reincarnation? Hold on, the scriptures teach it. It's in the Bible. So the scriptures teach it. And the Spirit reveals it too. The Spirit shows. Oh, this is ten is fire too. Ten is fire too, bro. Revelation 10 is fire too. Here you go. Uh, I'll get it. Uh, Revelation 19 and 28. And Jesus said, and Jesus said unto them, who is Yahweh Shai? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which follow, ye, ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Oh, yeah, that's the best one. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. So he's talking to his disciples. He said, Read that again. Yeah, he's talking directly to his disciples. Read that again. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Now what does the word regeneration mean? The, the word generation, that's where the word genealogy comes from. The word genes, the, the word Genesis. Like the book of Genesis, what does that mean, the Genesis? It means the birth, the beginning. So if that's the beginning, what's the regeneration? That means you go New back beginning. to the beginning, you start over, you're born again. Yeah. Again. Yeah. So read that again. So that's why you gotta understand the meaning of words, you gotta break the words down. Refer uh, uh, Matthew 19 and 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, Ye also shall sit upon the 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So that hasn't happened yet, because he was talking to Peter then, all the disciples, pretty much almost all the disciples were, were killed or executed. Right, like right. Peter was crucified, okay? But he said, so you're gonna rule over the tribes of Israel in the regeneration. So what's that talking about? Reincarnation. So can we talk about anything else? The disciples are going to rule over the tribes. Because there's, there's an elect so of the right elect. Right now, the tribes is being they're people, scattered. Yeah, like all over the world and stuff. That's so the disciples are back and like how they going to take control of the tribes. That's why. That's why scattered. the Lord said the Lord said uh, the harvest is plenty, but what, what, the, the, but the but the but the laborers is few. The laborers are few. That's a bad scripture. Too, yeah, bro. I'm gonna get that too. That's a bad scripture. Because man, is a wait wait. The laborers are what? That the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Cause the harvest is, there's a lot of brothers out here that still ain't woken up. So, but they ain't, that's why I say the labor, who's the laborers? I mean, we got we gotta go out here and preach the gospel to every preacher. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I said the laborers are few because not many people want to do this work. Right. Most yeah, people right. can't handle this work. Coming out, like we're doing, come to the streets. To the streets, where, where you're confronted by all kind of foolishness, mockery and uh, uh, scoffing. People ride by, y'all some fucking fools, dumbass niggas. You know, niggas hanging out with the white boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You hear all kinds of, I mean, come on, man. We, we heard it all. We heard it all, you know? But people can't take that. You know, they can't come up, you know, they don't got the heart because they're not men. Oh, you know, another thing they can't, the biggest thing too, like you asked us about these. Yeah, yeah Like, yeah. if you got a woman, she is not going to be with you standing on a corner wearing this. <laughs> Trust me. That's right. She ain't going to have it. 
So the woman, that's why a lot of people can't do this because they're a woman. You're going to have a problem with it. Because yeah. wearing this, come out here, this is part of the humility. You know what I'm saying? You come out here. That's right. That's right. This is scripture too. Oh, go ahead. Let's okay. Go. Um, okay. In Revelation 10, and I'm going to start at 8. Uh, we're still in reincarnation tip right here. All right. But this dude, what I'm about oh, yeah, to read to you is fire, man. It's going to pretty much explain right. a lot. Right. Uh, and the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. Okay. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. The little book is what? And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter. So this is gonna make your belly bitter. Wow. This is, this is, the truth is hard to swallow. Oh, okay. So who is he talking to? He's talking to the uh, apostle uh, John. Right. I thought so. Yeah. Uh, so he's talking to don't read the Bible. It's gonna make his stomach bitter. Well, yeah. Meaning he's gonna he's gonna give you this truth right, and right, reveal, right. And that, not just that, but reveal the prophecies to him. Right. I mean, he's gonna reveal the, the end time prophecy. Not only that, but he's going to reveal the complete truth. The Ecclesiastes is saying oppression shall make a wise man mad. Yeah. You know, so that's part of that belly. You get bit, you get wet. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it right after Plus, this. I'll yeah, get it right after this. also say that the world hates you. If you come out here teaching the truth, the world's going to hate you. you. They're going to despise you. They're going to crucify you just like they did Jesus. Persecute you. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I don't nobody hate these churches out here, man. I don't nobody hate them. They hate y'all. Oh, they hate they, they hate us. They hate the Lord before they hated us. These freaking guys want to stand on the corner, tell them blasting all scriptures. <laughs> I gotta put this on Twitter. This is just, oh, this is you know they hated the Lord before they hated us. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me continue on with this. And it shall make thy belly, belly bitter, uh -huh. but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Sweet as honey, because this word is sweet as honey. You know what sweet. I mean? This is delicious. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. Now he didn't actually eat the scripture. Some, some, some people so stupid don't actually eat the scripture. Thinking that's gonna help them learn it better. Mm -hmm. You yeah, get a lot of retarded people out there. That's that bad stuff. Yeah. Because some people they don't know how to understand simple parables. You know? I feel I, I feel yeah. Okay. Revelation 10 and 10. And I took the little book and out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as I, as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Because the belly got bitter, because like I said, because after, after, when you come out, first when you start teaching this truth, you're on fire. Right. You're like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. Right, right, you right. want to teach everybody? And after anybody. a while, you start catching that hell. So but that, that's what the Lord, you want to see. Not just that, the Lord tries you. He, he tries you. Tries. You know what I mean? Like your wife leaving you. You know what I mean? Your woman leaving. Yep. Going out sucking another man's penis and shit. And the Lord, you know what I mean? And the Lord gonna see whose side you're gonna take. You it. might lose your job. Because the Lord wanna be able to see you can uh, endure hardship. That's right. He don't want no pussies. He don't want mama boys. He want men. You know? And after a while, it doesn't even phase you no more. That's right. None of it. None, nothing in the world. You know? Because for example, yeah. losing myself as an example. I was a worldly motherfucker chasing these women. Always gotta have fine ass clothes on. Oh my car, my ride, my ride was always polished. I was out there, you know, three, four hours cleaning my dumb ass ride, looking like a fucking fool. You know what I mean? Looking like a fool, man. Committing adultery, you know, plotting on motherfuckers, niggas wise, especially if I hated your ass. I'm a plot on your wife, you know what I mean? A wicked motherfucker. I was wicked, man. But this is the grace of the way of the world. Great, that's right, the way of the world. But I come up out of that though. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Because if you don't, you be uh if you ain't, because if the Lord ain't dealing with you, you gotta pay for all those sins you committed. Right, yeah, that's, right. that's right. That's right. That's right. You're just stacking them up. That's what I'm trying to tell people. Okay, man, I don't want to care. Just believe the Lord will whoop your ass. Yeah, ain't nothing like a spiritual ass whooping. <laughs> ain't nothing like it. No, it yeah, that's funny. Not only do you gotta repent, but you gotta tell other people too. That's right. That's what you got. The whole point is to come out and do the work. That's all. Just that's teach it. Just keep teaching. Everywhere you go, like the scripture says, you gotta teach every creature. That's right. I'll go ahead. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples. All right, now he's talking to John. He said, You're gonna have to prophesy again. Now, when John, you know where he was at when he wrote this? He was in prison on the Isle of Patmos. And he was like 100 years old. And as far as we know, 
he died in prison. He's an old man. So he died in prison. So read that again. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again. He told him you gotta prophesy again. Keep going. Before many people, before many people, and nations, and tongues, and kings. So how is he gonna do that? That's in the reincarnation. Right. So when he comes back, so he died in prison. Then that take a lot of time to go. He was a hundred years old. <laughs> right. So how right. are you gonna go out and preach to many nations if you're a hundred years old? You ain't got no time to do that. That's right. He's talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Escape, hundred year old man escaping, and it wasn't that like the Alcatraz back in the day. Well, it was kind of like that. Yeah, it was a oh, salt mine. They were rougher back then. Those prisons. Yeah. Romans, man. Well, the Romans was some bad dude. You know, Nicki Minaj about herself. Roman had an ego, and he become now he got his own little. Yeah, she is. That bitch is a witch. I saw she. She was like, tell you, man. It is witchcraft. You're not a witch, you're not allowed to be a musician. They're all the they're all video. Oh yeah. Like I know the scriptures, another reincarnation. I mean, then you I'm gonna go get that. I mean, if you know the scriptures, you can just when you hear these songs, I can you can give me any song, and I, I, can, what are, I can listen to the song and give you a thousand scriptures of why that song is the, uh, the work of Satan. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is just all this music is pure blasphemy. You know what I mean? You heard, like, that, you heard that amen? My uh, Mills. Who? Big Mills. Big Mills. Big Mills. Uh, I've never heard of that Drake. shit. Drake. I don't really. Oh, if it got. I, I definitely I ain't heard that shit. On, on to this madness they make now. You, talking, you listen to the river? No, I don't listen to this madness they make now. I'm talking about one of four point nine the river. Christian section. No, no. Oh, hell no. That's noise, bro. Follow that noise, man. Y'all make your own music? Because they're a bunch of blasphemy. Oh, yeah, I'm a music. I can tell. It's a bunch of blasphemy in their music when you listen to them. They're hypocrites. They're deceivers. Right, right. Yeah, Christian music sucks anyway. It's horrible. Yeah, all the real good Christian music was made back in the 60s That's and beyond. Yeah. Like Bob 60s and beyond. Anybody yeah, Bob, yeah, I like yeah, Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Yeah, Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. I like reggae, period. Bob Marley. That's a drug killer. He's more of a drug killer. Yeah, I got some Bob Marley. But hold on. Right now, let me tell you, he's saying, we are walking out of Babylon into our father. But you see, you know they Israelites down there. Yeah, they all messed up. Benjamin pretty much makes the best music as they far do. as the first to because the Lord. I give it to because that's why I like reggae music is because I mean, they still demons. They still demons down there. What the Benjamin? Yeah, I mean, yeah, all of that. All but but I mean, but at least in their songs they give them praises to the Lord. Yeah, right, right. That's, can, 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 that America, just proves the Israelites. Yeah, because you know I mean? in America they got uh, the hottest stars like Eminem got. You got a. Eminem got this music video where he's chopping people up, drinking, uh, uh, chopping blood. people up in the bathtub, yeah, drinking video, blood, blood water out the tub. You gotta see it. You gotta see it. I mean, he just and I never listened to Eminem. He's just the most I demonic. I mean, all the rappers. That's why he don't rap no more. That's why he don't rap no more. You know, I mean, all these rappers out here, they don't talk to him. It's okay, let me go. Let me read this, bro. Because the jig is up for him. The Lord, the Lord said he's gonna. Hell, we get that revelation. The Lord gonna bring the noise in them songs. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um, that is my good. This revel, this is on Second Peter three and on seventeen. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, saying we knew this stuff before. Yeah, we knew it before. How we know it before? Reincarnation in our previous lives. That, that's okay. why. That's this why. is. We're reading these scriptures to you now. We, we, we bring you back to remembrance. Cause check this out. Cause this if you, Cause if you got this truth, the Lord said that we was chosen before the world was even born. So if you got this truth, that's already inside of you. That's right. Our it job is to come you. out, not to give you the truth, but to remind to, you, to, to bring that, to withdraw that truth from out of you. There you, you draw, go. There you go. Yeah. We gotta draw that truth out of you. Let me get this uh, scripture. I'll go ahead. Okay. Uh, let me read the rest of it. Beware lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness. What scripture? Okay. What scripture? You was looking for that music? Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. That's revelation. <laughs> I thought you forgot. <laughs> I forgot what time I got. Right, right. Get the spirit. This spirit. Let me read, you want one? You want, let me read this one before yours. I'll go ahead. Okay, this is a music scripture too. This is um, Amos um, 5 and 23. Amos 5. 
Take thou away from me, thou noise of thy songs. Because the Lord don't like hearing all these bullshit. You know these people ride around bumping that music bull. Should be shaking the whole house. <laughs> the whole man, the Lord hear it. So fucking shaking everything. The trunk just but he's referring to this gospel music too. Oh, all that shit. All that shit's an abomination. I'm sure the Lord. There's a, I'm sure. I'm sure the Lord got to select you people's music you like. You know, but now he don't like no, much nothing of, else. Nothing yeah, else. nothing now. He ain't here with none of this shit. Nah, man, that's just weak. Y'all ain't listen to Bizzle? Y'all ain't never heard of Bizzle? Uh -huh. That man, his name is Bizzle? That's, <laughs> right that's all I need it's to know. Brother, man. You need to... He ain't my nah, brother. He ain't my brother. He he brother. Ain't, brother. ain't no way with about the name of Bizzle. Y'all don't know y'all need to hear what he talking about. Uh, listen, anybody, that's, anybody with any enlightenment is not going to call themselves. What's it? <laughs> what do you call it? What is, what is Bizzle? Bizzle sound like a back. <laughs> That just, that just sounds foolish. The Lord like said, the Lord said, my, what does that mean? What does Bizzle mean? What's the etymology of that word Bizzle? That's, 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 that's not a real name. It doesn't even mean anything. That's, that's foolishness. That is pure foolishness. Right. Yeah. Hold on, bro. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I would not hear the melody of thy violence. So the Lord don't want to hear that madness. All that Nicki Minaj and that Lil Wayne wearing them tight ass pants. All this, all this music's fucking gay too. Some Justin Bieber, what's up? All them, homo, all them homosexuals. <laughs> the They're all homosexuals shit, anyway. Yeah, well, they have sex with that little naughty people to get famous. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody know about. Them. Yeah. Oh, like Justin Bieber, I mean, he was like a little kid when he got up in there, wasn't he? They probably, was probably molesting him when he was a child. They've been molesting a lot of kids, man, and now they're famous. There's a bunch of teachers right here in Ohio. Little Wayne was like, a, he's like a Will Smith. One. Oh yeah, Will yeah. Smith. Oh, you got he it. was willing though. He was already willing. No, he he got raped. Now he's the raper. You know that's how they set it up. <laughs> they do. They, when you set it up, you get raped, and after a while, they let you rape other people. You know? so, so Michael Jordan, he's no longer being raped. He got people like Kobe, LeBron sucking on him now. You know? Uh, yeah, you know that sports is all rigged too, bro. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Is it some sex magic? What's that? Did you have sex magic? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like sex. Yeah, there's a lot of that nasty stuff out there, too. And you know, uh, football is based on racism. Like, uh, back in the days, how the Cowboys used to cut the Indian tails off. They used to toss it, like, uh, like football pigskin. Yeah. Like, Indian uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's what somebody just told me, like, two days ago. And I was like, yeah. Football's kind of gay, too. Everybody stands in the line of scrimmage all bent over with their ass up in the air. Then the quarterback comes behind with his hands on his ass. Right. I mean, That's just gay. They could have found a better And then they're wearing them tight ass pants. You know what I'm saying? It's like this picture. What you think that is? That's a dumb one. That is? Yeah. Oh, they, 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 they know either body. They know either body looking that bad. Right. Oh. <laughs> hey, they, they, this, they, yeah. Because you know, Esau wasn't even from that area nowhere. He just took it over. Hey, you know what, time. bro? Let me remind you, really you this. Think let me, about it. Yeah, listen. Let me remind you. Let me run. Let me remind you this. When you come, in, when you come into the truth, and, and it's a must in order to grow, that bullshit you learned before you come into the truth, you gotta throw it all away. You gotta cast it all off, like you never heard it, like you never knew it before. You know, you know. Cause you might run into a brother that's gonna be like, "Mom, you need to shut the fuck up with that bullshit." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I don't you know what you're talking about. You hear me, man? <laughs> cause you'll bug people out with it. Cause the scriptures warn you about people like that. And it warns you about books and so on and so on. <laughs> you know? God, most of these people out here making up these crazy stories and uh, crazy beliefs. Most of them are in front of money, first of all. Yeah. Okay. And, a lot, and there's just a lot of weird fucking people in the world, man. There's a lot of weirdos out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight up, man. I'm pretty good. For sure. That's why you gotta be grounded. You know what I mean? We, we live in re we in the spirit, but we in reality too. Uh, okay, Ecclesiastic 12 and 4. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the birds and all the daughters of music 
shall be brought low. It's that grinding that's talking about it. No, there's no work. If nobody's working, there's no grinding. They said, uh, well, half the, half the damn American population is on food stamps. You know what I mean? They said what, uh, I, I forget the procedure. They just got a record number of people on food stamps. There's no work. Nobody can find a job. That's all you hear about. Turn on the TV, all they talk about is no job, no job. <coughs> yep, that's why it's here. But like, what, what kind of music was they bumping over there in New Jersey and New York when they got hit with that storm? Wasn't bitches bumping their little wing when their house got was floating off into the river? They wasn't, they wasn't no music playing then, was it? I don't think so. And they had no electric. <laughs> <laughs> and when they was getting raped, you know what I'm saying? Because you know this woman over there getting, they still over there getting raped. It's still chaos over there in New Jersey from that storm. Yeah. Women like getting raped, people getting shot, that. getting killed. People invading the, uh, each other's homes. You know what I'm saying? And they're not even allowed to have guns over there in uh, New Jersey, they New York. They ain't got so yeah, but but the yeah, but the like gangsters got somebody, guns. They come to your house. The gangsters, the gangsters got the guns. I got this other scripture. Revelation 18. Uh, I'm just start at 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, "Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon." America. That great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. So America is going to be totally destroyed. The Lord is going to just wipe it off the face of the map. Uh, it's going to be turned into a desert wasteland. And that's coming from the nuclear missiles. And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and the trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in these. So what's America famous for? They famous for the music. Do you know other people in the other parts of the world? They no, learn everybody that's the, everybody listen yeah. to American music, music. American music. Yeah. They learn how to speak English. Like Lady Gaga. And yeah. All that. yeah. They didn't learn how to speak English from listening to our songs. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the Lord said, "You are gonna hear that music no more." You know, and none of these musicians, none of them making it either. They ain't none of them getting saved. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be destroyed. You know, they brag about these riches, how rich they really are. That, that, that money is oh, just a number. They, That's all. They don't really have their riches. It's just a number. You know what what they, they, if you got, if you, if your wealth is measured in U.S. dollars, like uh, you, like name a rich guy, like uh, Warren Buffett. They say he's worth so many billions or whatever. You see, the real rich and the real elite, their wealth isn't measured in dollars because they're the ones to print the money. You know what I'm saying? They own the money. They, they don't need that money. You know what I'm saying? They own land, they own livestock, they own gardens, they own, farms, oh, they own states, they own, they own countries. Jewels. <laughs> they own us. America's owned by the bankers. The banks America. run America, own America. Well, that's why the bankers, well, that's why all their people's in Congress. All those, the bankers got all, all, the whole Congress is pretty much all Motherfucking corporation and bank people. Yeah. They, they, they ain't no hard working so called Americans up in Congress. People in there uh, working hard for America. <laughs> You're a great American, buddy. Yeah. Them politicians American. don't give a fuck about us, man. That's yeah. right. Hell, they don't give a fuck about themselves. Yeah. You know, that's the, that's, oh, that's, the way. that's why you heard about all these states talking about they want to succeed from the union. They got all 50 states have made all signed a petition saying they're going to succeed for the union. What's the union? The United States. They the say they, they don't want to be part of the federal government no more. So soon as it's about to be a civil war. It's moving up. It's, it is, it's going. It's, it's coming. That's what's coming. Race wars. Race wars. Civil wars. Race, national race wars. Riots. Somebody told me that America is going to split in half like red states and blue states. Well, it's already happened once. It's already been split. Yeah. Division. It's, it's been divided. Yep, yep. You know? There's always been division of it ever since it's founded. I mean, it was based on, come on, man. It was based on slavery and genocide. So you want to say, of course there's division. But that's good, though, because the Lord brings division. The Lord is all about division. That's right. What were you? I listen to rap music. Let me read. No. It's not neighbor. Do you like rap music? No. no. I like, I mean, well, I like rap music, I like but I don't listen to none of this. Older music. rap music, not this. I'm saying like rap, like you can listen to some rap, right? Maybe some Scarface. I understand. Tupac. All right. Tupac's with Tupac is here. Tell me how you Yeah, Tupac, he's still a demon though. Mm -hmm. Name I got you. Oh no, he's reading the scriptures yeah, right now. Yeah, we're reading the scriptures right now. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, 
the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. So that sinful kingdom, that's America. Because he's talking to the Israelites. Because America, the, the large uh, portion of the American population is Israelite, Jake. Okay. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. So he's not going to destroy all the Israelites. He's going to save a, a remnant. He's going to save one third. And the other two thirds, where's that two thirds, man? Two thirds, son. So Jacob is what, Judah? Jacob is 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Right here. See, this is, who's getting, this is who's getting saved, that's a little portion, and that's who's getting destroyed. You know what I'm saying? You see, the more people are getting destroyed, he's getting saved. I'm saying you gotta put it in a chart to make it easier to understand. <laughs> Just go into this one. Let me get this real quick. Oh, while you get that, I'll get that one scripture. Go ahead. Okay, I, got, I already got Luke. Okay. So what's all the books in here? Uh, you got the book of the Maccabees. You, oh, you got the Maccabees, all of the Maccabees in there? That's what I'm studying at home One right now, two. the Maccabees. You yeah. like it? Hmm? I said you like it. It makes me mad. It's all part of it. It pisses me the fuck off. It's all part of the Bible. Right? It's a very good thing. Waking up. It helps you wake up to what, it's, these, what these devils did to us in the past. The book of Maccabees will tell you about why you should not eat pork. Because our ancestors, they died so they didn't have to eat pork. They refused to eat pork, and because they refused to eat pork, they were uh, their skin was, was uh, they, they was uh, skinned alive. It was fried alive in a frying pan, all because they refused to eat pork. Yep. And they died. They didn't say they. You know what I mean? It's easy to just pick up that and take a bite. Right. Oh, they were the die. They cut their tongues out with a uh, uh, burnt their tongues out with hot sears. They ripped mm. their tongues out because they didn't eat pork. Mm. And yeah, I think that's why all of these white girls got all of these booties because they. Pork. Well, a lot of them are getting, uh, a lot of them work out. Yeah, actually, like, a lot of them, rich lot white girls are into the nutrition. Israelites. They into nutrition. Yeah. A, lot a lot of them, them are don't Israelites, eat. though. Oh, yeah. A lot of them are Israelites. Mm -hmm. And they, you know what I mean? They, 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 you know, before they were taught to be skinny. An Israelite walking around with no ass don't look right. But now the times went on, they they looking more at these, the Judah, on television, the entertainers, the sports. They like, man, fuck this. I'm eating that. Started eating, and that's why you see them, their booties start to grow. It's just a sign of the times, you know. But the Jew, Judah is going backwards. Their women, their butt is their belly. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and the butt is flat now. Bitches get fatter and fatter by the look, You know, you know. It's okay, it's really the epidemic. Yeah, pretty much. This is uh, we're going into the vision. This is Micah seven and I'm starting five. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy, thy bosom. Oh yeah, that's, that's your girl. For the son, for the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter riseth up against the mother-in-law, the mother, the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Yeah, so the, if you want to be in this truth, your family's going to cause you a lot of problems. That's right. That's guaranteed. No doubt about that. And the main one is your female members of your family. Your auntie don't want to hear it. Your grandma definitely don't want to hear it. <laughs> right. and your grandma thinks she knows Jesus, you know, more than you ever supposed to know. Right. Here you go, brother. This is Luke. Uh, this is Luke 12 and 51. I know my grandma didn't know any scripture. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. This is the Lord speaking himself. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell ye nay, but rather division. Division. You, I mean, you know my red letters, right? Yeah. That's the Lord himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But rather division. For from henceforth there should be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father. The mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother. The mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Y'all hear this? It's division <coughs> coming toward America. It's already divided. Right. <laughs> and he said also to the people, 
when ye see a cloud rise up out of the west, straightway ye say, there cometh the a shower, and so it is, because you can see a storm cloud coming, you know? And when you see the south wind blow, you say, there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and the earth, but how is it that you do not discern the time? Oh, they can tell when it's going to rain, but they can't tell when the war is about to hit, the famine. Like, don't you know, when you say there's a natural disaster or anything out here, anything bad happens, the food that's in the store is only going to last for three days. Okay, if that. If that. If I doubt it even lasts that long. Though. Well, just again, because you know what? When shit happens, man, people don't panic right away because oh, they're yeah. too busy watching the reality TV. They say after 72 hours after a disaster, that's when hell, that people start go. getting desperate. That's people right. start killing. Right. You know what I mean? People are stuck on stupid. Because nobody's prepared either. Nobody has food, stays up, or nothing like that. So, right. Isn't it? That, so that's why when the shit hits the fan, when it's about to, it already has. Because people have so much faith in this government, they're going to be like, oh, man, I'm just going to sit at home. I got a little bit of food. Waiting for feeding them? Right, right. So oh, I'm yeah, going to sit here and wait. No, they was feeding the, the, the people in the storm had to feed people. You can put that. Oh, uh, my goodness. Yeah. The, the they had to feed FEMA. Shit. So the FEMA ain't got no food for them. So if you see a disaster and you see a big uh, FEMA, everybody's saying, if you want somewhere to sleep, come over here. We got, nah, don't go there. Go sleep in the woods. There you go, Matthews, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, yeah. It's just a, a big, a big outbreak. You know what I'm saying? Like a disaster, martial law, uh, an epidemic, you know, a uh, virus the outbreak. Yeah, you stay away. Stay away from the safe zone. You know what I mean? All right. Don't, don't, don't go where all, everybody's gathered at trying to get help. Don't go there. Did you see what happened down in Hurricane Katrina? They forced everybody to go up inside the Superdome. Right. And then once they got up in there, they wouldn't let you leave. And the women was getting raped, people was getting shot, they stabbed. They were giving people to chip in. Yeah, people were giving people to chip in. Yeah. Sure so yeah, you stay away from the damn yeah, government. What? What? They was giving people RFID chip. That's in the scriptures. That you get the chip. Don't count on getting saved. <laughs> don't think about it. Like That's I said, I can say. yeah, because yeah, people always talk about this Obama bullshit. Like I said, man. These are the times that people was talking about right here. That's why them food stamps just got cut $50 a pound. You know what I'm saying? So you cut more than that. They, 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 show, he sh they, show, they show their horns right now. You know what they do. Because Obama ain't got to worry about getting elected no more. Nope. This is his last, yeah, last turn. So he going to go all out on these people, man. I mean, like, since he got elected, like, the next day they started talking about the physical cliff. Oh, everybody's gonna start going crazy if we have to go through this physical cuts because taxes are gonna go up and all of this kind of thing. You know, there's gonna be so many cuts like these, um, like what you call, uh, what you call uh, entitlement plans, like welfare, yeah. oh, you know, yeah. uh, they Section 8. Cut it. Section they they cut the food stamps by $50. Mm -hmm. That's as right. soon as the election was over, they cut right here in Ohio, mm -hmm. the state that decided the election, <laughs> as soon as the election was over, they cut the food they, stamps. They got their reward. <laughs> they got their reward. That's right. They got their reward. That's how the Most High does it too, man. That's a beautiful thing. That's right. Because ultimately, beautiful. it's the Most High that controls all this. You know what I mean? But these people don't think the Most High is doing a damn thing. They don't believe in me anyway. You know? They believe in FEMA. They believe in the, the government. That's what they believe in. <laughs> Some heathens. Some subscriptions at them. Those are Esau's people, man. Esau. That's Esau right there. Esau. You know, every, see, every nation got their biblical name. Judah, the so-called Negroes, the goddamn the so-called red devils, the so-called white man, the Esau. That's them. The Edomites. They're Edomites. The Edomites right there. Right. Every white man ain't the same. So what the Edomites do, like, who, like, what did they, did they kill? Who did they kill? They the ones that brought the shit. Actually, they did, they, they the ones responsible. They physically put the Lord on the cross. Because, because uh, you know, Pontius Pilate, he was, he was the one who was in charge of the whole thing. He could have spared him. But ultimately, he had to die on that cross anyway. That's how the Lord said it up. Hey, look at that. I like Mark 13. Oh, yeah. go ahead. Is it Mark 13? I'm looking for uh, 26, 20. Yeah, that's Mark 13. Yeah, Mark 13. I, I like to read Matthews 24. 
Yeah, but in Roman, the ancient Romans, the, the ruling class of the ancient Romans. Did you have some cherry Nah. The ancient Romans, the ruling class of the ancient Romans, they were they were Edomites. Just like the ruling class of America. Because America is Rome reincarnated. That's why they use all the Roman symbolism. That's why the White House looks like a Roman temple. Well, actually, it is a Roman temple. Uh, the, the, the Capitol building is a temple. It's a temple to Apollo. It's, yeah, it's called Capitol Hill. You know what Capitol Hill is? I know, I know what the... Uh, in ancient Rome, in ancient Rome, there was a hill called Capitol Hill, and that was where the temple to Jupiter was. That's where they worship Jupiter, okay? So that's why that's called Capitol Hill, and that's why it looks like a Roman temple, because it is a temple. That's right. Okay, just like uh, what's downtown right here. There's a Roman temple. There's two Roman. There's a Roman temple and a Greek-looking temple. The, uh, what's that? The, 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 where, the, where the mayor kicks it. Uh, my my brain is fried. City which, Hall. City Hall. City Hall. Which one is that? That's by the water. Yeah. That's the one by the water. That's the real demonic-looking temple. Is that the one with all glass? Well, it look. It looks like an ancient, like temple off of Zelda. It's right there with the boat. Has a big ass statue of Christopher like it. Columbus. Yeah, it's got. It's got yeah. It's got all kind of uh, satanic symbolism. And, yeah, and they both have statues of Christopher Columbus. There's two statues of Christopher Columbus downtown. Now, what did Christopher Columbus do? He came over here, he oh, killed millions right. of people. Uh, we don't smoke. We got some scriptures, you read the Bible? Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, you cool? You say yeah, you good I, on that? I, I, mean, I got some messages for you, though. I don't need I can't do it. I got a TV. Right, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go do you. <laughs> uh, go do you. I think he need his own TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh, yeah, but we was just telling you. Uh, yeah, America is wrong reincarnated. So that's why I was telling you that. Same thing, bro. That's why, that's why they... That's why they call America's a republic. You know what I'm saying? America's a, they call it the American Republic. That's because Rome.